hey everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to fix can't connect to this network error on your windows 10 or windows 11. i will be sharing seven or eight effective methods that are the best way to fix this problem so first we will start with the basic one where we have to run the network troubleshooter click on your windows search box and type trouble and from the suggestion choose troubleshoot settings now here click on additional troubleshooters scroll down and you have to look for network adapter click on it and then run the troubleshooter now it will ask you the type of connection so you have to choose the wi-fi click on it then click on next and now it's collecting all the information i have already fixed the problem so on my case it says troubleshooting could not identify the problem but probably on your end it may give you some kind of suggestions or probably if there are any issues it will fix it once you have done with this you can check back if this fix a problem and if not then you can also try enabling and disabling the airplane mode if you are using on your laptop so if you have a locked laptop try disabling enabling and then wait for a few seconds and disable the airplane mode and check back that if this fix a problem and if not then you also need to disable your wireless adapter that is your nic network interface card how you have to do again click on your search box type ncpa.cpl then click on ok all kind of network connection will be coming up here you have to look for the wi-fi make a right click on it then click on disable wait for a few seconds and after that make a right click on it again and choose enable once you are done check back that if this affects the problem and if not then you can also try for getting your network and sometime or majority of the time it also fixes the problem of can't connect to this network how you have to do close everything and hover up to your network icon at the right hand bottom hover up to the wi-fi name on which you have the problem with make a right click on it and choose forget so once you click on forget after that it will ask you again to type the password of that wi-fi name so make sure that you remember the wi-fi password so that you can reconnect it you can try this and if not then you have to flush your dns and some kind of network setting because probably some cache or a wrong setting of the network are creating the problem click on your search box type tmd then choose run as administrator the black window will be coming up here the first command that you have to type is ip config space forward slash flush dns hit enter it will successfully flush the dns resolver cache now the second command will be netsh winsock reset reset then hit on enter and now it asks you to restart the computer but if so far if your issue has not been fixed then you can just go ahead and apply other solution as well and then finally we will make a restart now you can close it and now we have to try resetting the network okay so how you have to do just uh, make a right click on your windows icon choose settings then click on network and internet now at the very bottom you will find network reset click on it then click on reset now and then click on yes so once you click on yes it will reset all kind of your network settings so again keep in mind that you need to remember your password because the next time when you will try to connect to your wi-fi it will ask you for the password okay so after doing that probably it will ask you to sign in again or to restart you have to follow the instructions and now you can check back that if this fix the problem still if this doesn't work for you do not need to worry i have still hope for you what next what you can do is you can also try disabling the ip version 6 according to few users who recommended me that ip version 6 was creating some kind of conflict and that disabling that fix our problem what you have to do again click on the search box type ncpa.cpl from the suggestion choose control panel item 
again you will come to the network connection make a right click on your wi-fi choose properties once you come here first you have to make sure that this client for microsoft network is unchecked then scroll down a bit you will find microsoft network adapter multiplexer protocol this option should be unchecked and then you have to also uncheck the internet protocol version 6 okay like me all these three options are being unchecked once done make a double click on internet protocol version 4 and make sure that there is no static ip has been selected here okay so this option should be set to obtain an ip address automatically if it's been selected to this one then you have to choose the above one and below where it says you the following dns server address you can use this ip address but if it's been selected to obtain dns server address automatically you can either leave it or you can go with this alternate google dns server address that is in the preferred dns address you have to type 8888 and in the alternate you have to type 8844 okay just to show this you have to keep in the same way as you see in this on the screen right now once done click on ok then click on ok again now once done you also can try making some changes with the power plan settings sometime it creates a problem all you have to do just click on your search box type here power cfg dot cpl and from the suggestion choose power cfg dot cpl control panel item click on it the power option will be coming up now whichever option it has been selected to in front of that you will find change plan settings click on it then click on change advanced power settings the power option box will be coming up here you have to look for wireless adapter settings double click on it then you will find power saving mode again double click on it and now make sure that this setting option has been selected to maximum performance if it's been selected to maximum power saving maximum medium power saving or low power saving probably it may get turned off or it may create some problem while connecting to the wi-fi so make sure it's been selected to the maximum performance then click on apply then click on ok all right now once done click on save changes and check back that if this fixed the problem and if not then we have the last solution that what you can do is just make a right click on your windows icon and choose device manager device manager will be coming up here you have to look for the network adapters double click on it look for your wi-fi driver just make a right click on it click on properties here you will get the power management option just make sure that this option of allow this computer to turn off this device to save power has been disabled it should be unchecked okay once done click on ok now you also need to try updating your driver just make a right click on it and choose update driver then go with search automatically for drivers if there are updates available it will automatically update it and if not you will be getting the same message once done click on close now still if you have the issues you can try uninstalling the device just make a right click on it again and choose uninstall device then click on uninstall again and after that finally make a restart and as soon as the pc comes up it will automatically reinstall your wi-fi drivers and i'm very sure that after that your problem will be fixed and if yes if the problem get fixed make sure that you hit the like subscribe to the channel and still if you have the issues then let me know in the comment section i will surely reply you back so that's all i will see you in the next video bye bye